All right, everybody, welcome um, for a very sort of special surprise sneak peek AMA. Um, we decided to do this yesterday just because we wanted to give you guys all a sneak peek at the new main net hub. We've got a number of folks who have gotten early access to the new hub site, but a bunch of pe people who are still waiting until May 28th. So we wanted to give you a little show and tell. And also we've got a number of updates just around um, the mainnet rollout plan, obviously, some of the biggest questions uh, on the server this week have been around like, okay, what's the exact kind of like order that things are going to happen in terms of like onboarding, airdrop, um, when token, like when things start to unlock, like all of that stuff. So we're here to just kind of give you guys an overview, give you guys a pro progress report, uh, give you all a sneak peek of the new mainnet hub site, which we've done a ton of work on um, in the lead up to launch. And um, yeah, joined with by um, Will Carter, our CTO, and Gordon, our CPO. How are you guys doing? Doing good. Yeah, one, wonderful, thank you. Awesome. Um, so I guess to kind of kick off, um, Either Will or Gordon, do you guys want to just give us a little bit of like a status report on mainnet rollout and, and TGE just as a, a quick overview before we dive in? Yeah, for sure. Will, do you want to take this one? I'll do the demo. Yeah, sure. Yeah, so um, we've been working pretty hard. As, as you guys know, we launched Fuji um, just recently as well. We've been onboarding a lot of um, some of the top testers in the community just to kick the tires a bit, make sure everything's working pretty well. That first testing, I think Ivy said it was like the smoothest onboarding for a launch so it's far. Been... So that, yeah. So that went well. Um, and we decided to kind of just go straight into the mainnet launch as well. So that happened. Uh, I'm sorry, it's been a long day so far, so I don't remember the exact dates <laughs> for everything. But we've had our top testers on um, for a couple days now um, and some early content creators, again, kicking the tires, but also, you know, starting to establish profiles, user um, names um, and start sort of seeding the ecosystem with some content. We're doing some more games currently on the governance system, um, finishing some of the the airdrop specifics, and yeah, just getting everything ready for you guys. Yeah, awesome. So for for anyone who's kind of like just tuning in and hasn't been tracking the announcements channels, um, we launched the chain on May 13th. We got our initial validators up on May 17th. So that's kind of when we announced and marked TGE. And yeah, as Will said, we've basically onboarded about 150 people to the mainnet early access site this week. That's been a mix of our top testers, partners, internal team, as well as um, some featured artists who have been onboarding. Um, yeah, it's been a really smooth rollout. We definitely have killed some small bugs related to like burning items, um, a couple onboarding screen screen bugs, but it's always a good sign when you get feature requests rather than like this thing is completely broken. So we're feeling really good about uh, starting to public onboard next week. So again, I know there's a lot of top testers in this AMA, but thank you all so much for helping us out and alerting us to stuff that you see that's a little bit funky because it's been super helpful as you guys know relaying that back to the team constantly um i guess with that though so that's kind of like our status report on mainnet rollout and tge um gordon uh do you want to take us through just kind of like a screen share walkthrough of the new early access height uh site and kind of give us a rundown of what folks are going to be able to do on day one when we uh kind of launch for public onboarding on may 28th Yep, I'll do that right now. I'm going to share my screen. Make sure this works. See my screen? No, it, oh. we got a loading for a second and then it went away. Oh, one second. How about now? It's looking good. There we go. Yep, we can see it. Okay, super. So this is the uh, the new Lamina One Hub. It will be available on www.lamina1.com when we launch. 
Um, so anyone's going to be able to browse all of the content and the profiles that are available on the site. Uh, if people send out sharing links to content or profiles, then people are going to be able to see that. No more gated experience like everyone has experienced on the on the beta net. Um, and so, you know, we're surfacing up. Uh, so this is all being curated right now um, by Ives and Ive. Um, Yours and so, truly. Yeah, surfacing up all the good stuff that's already being posted on the network. Um, so I'm able to kind of like navigate um, and check out some of this cool artwork. Um, I'm, I, I, I'm, I'm losing track of like every single kind of screen that we maybe touched in this update. We've touched actually almost every single page in the experience in some way or another. We've added a lot of other screens to support the new wallet uh, and everything else. But I can navigate through the content. I can also browse profiles. I'm going to pick Evander. I had one thing posted on here. Oh no. No, hasn't created mm -hmm. content. I'm going to tell him to go if you here. want to go to my profile, I uh, uploaded a number of images uh, the other day to make sure that it would take. Oh man, someone threw a massive spinach at me. <laughs> so I can, this is now the new profile page. This is a new page that we've not had before. Uh, so Ivy set up her profile. Um, I'll take you through that process in a second when I create my account for the first time. Um, but let's see who's Massive Spinach from. So this was created by Nobody. They sent it to you uh, a couple of days ago, it looks like. Yep. I can it's navigate to Nobody and see, every, see everything Nobody's published. Yep. So here we're starting Nobody to Nobody has up. started a food fight here on yeah. Lambda One. <laughs> So we're starting to enable um, people to service up content that, uh, that they own or that they published um, on the network. There's a lot of work to do on profiles in terms of supporting um, uh, curation and other features in terms of kind of like a, a personal storefront within here. So if nobody in the future wants to be able to sell this item, then we're going to surface up those items in that profile as well. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and uh, kind of go through the process of um, signing in. I actually have some L1 already connected with a MetaMask account. So I'm going to use MetaMask. I think about half of our community uses MetaMask today and about the other half sign in with um, other methods. Um, you can't, sorry, you can't, I'm just doing this for the first time. It's set up by MetaMask. So it switched me automatically to the Lamina One network. It takes me through this onboarding flow. This is my address. I'm going to go ahead and set up a username. This is going to be my free username. Ah. Okay, now I'm demoitis is hitting in. And uh, I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> it's on the correct one. Okay, I have a problem with my my wallet here. I can't complete the um, profile creation uh, setup. Um, I will try and do that again in a second with a different wallet. Uh, so we now have this new wallet tab um, up in the navigation. I can see my balance. Um, I can see my transactions like we could I could before. Um, this also now supports a new feature, um, which enables you to send um, uh, tokens across the network. Um, actually, I can't show you the extent of the new feature, but notice I'm able to pick some. Um, I can choose how much Lamina One I want to send. Uh, somebody drops me. Why don't you drop your addresses in the chat, and I'll send you guys a L1. Ooh, special bonus prize, everyone. Um, let's see who's first. The Jackal Girl has a premium username, it looks like. So, um, well, we'll see if this works because of my wallet issue. But it looks there like we go, working. transaction complete. Um, yeah, and some, some stuff coming uh, later on. Uh, we haven't announced dates for yet, but notice I can set the origin and the destination of this transaction. 
when I'm sending. So I'm going to be able to send Lamina 1 in the Avalanche network uh, and vice versa. Uh, this also starts to kind of build the infrastructure that enables us to support sending tokens across different subnets in the Avalanche ecosystem. Uh, with, you know, so think, imagine things like sending tokens to Beam or Shrapnel or DeFi Kingdoms um, and all these kind of new gaming uh, subnets that are being set up there. So we're really excited about enabling those types of connections. Um, so I have some, uh, some L1. I'm going to go ahead and create content on the network. Perfect. Yeah, we, we definitely had a request to kind of show um, whether the creator flow was as easy as it was in Betanet. And I think you guys will be pleasantly surprised. It is. Uh, so we, uh, one, one tweak we did make, actually, we do have a bug on here that we have to fix. We do now support uh, GIFs, um, not only PNGs and JPEGs and TIFFs. Uh, uh, so that's something, um, something new. We have a number of cat GIFs already uploaded onto the hub. So I upload my image. Um, I'm going to call input my details. Start tagging my item. Tagging is useful because um, it helps people understand what the item meaning is uh, in the future these tags will be used to um, further kind of support navigation and discovery throughout the experience on the creator rights tab as i go through here i can choose whether or not i want to allow a copyright license for this tab um, which would then enable people to be able to reuse this artwork in a legal way uh, so if i choose whether or not i want a copyright license i hit yes um, I can decide in the same vein as Creative Commons, uh, whether or not, and in fact, we use the Creative Commons license under the hood, uh, whether or not I want attribu attribution for this item, um, whether or not I want to allow commercial use of this item. Um, and we also additionally prompt you to allow training on AI models. Or not. Um, again, this is really us trying to set the seeds of um, making uh, AI really, really traceable. Um, and so we understand kind of the source of the work and we also enforce your rights around how you might want the, your work to be used in AI model training in the future. And the more metadata we can capture here, the more utility we can provide both to um, uh, people creating models as well as people generating from, from those models. Um, I can credit my uh, co-creators. This was created by myself, so there's no one to credit on this page. Uh, and then the final step here is to publish the item to the network. Currently, uh, publishing an item in the early access is um, 1L1. We're actually going to drop that fee for launch. Uh, so, um, or you're going to have to pay to publish an item on the network is gas costs, the transaction fees to submit the, submit the item to the network and have it minted. You heard it here first, guys. This was this is super exciting for us. I am so excited to announce that. But yeah, minting uh, in the initial period is going to be basically free other than gas. So we really want people to be creating content. We don't want it to be a huge barrier early days. So yeah, yeah. And I think, um, you know, there is a hard cost there in terms of um, hosting that content on IPFS and available in the application explorer. And um, ultimately, those things cannot be totally free, but we're trying to tune it economically so that uh, uh, we can drive as much activity as possible. Um, I'm going to take a look at my item. We now we have some new sharing functionality available on the item. I can copy this link, um, and anyone can and you can send that out to your friends, and anyone's going to be able to look at it without having to need an account or anything. Um, I can also share items um, on uh, Twitter and on Discord. Um, and then when I go to my profile, like before, this, the item surfaces up um, here. And at some point, maybe it will surface up on here. We'll see. <laughs> um, what else do we want to show? I think those are the the major features. Um, we there will be there will be additional 
uh, tabs launching in the future, you'll notice that the navigation, when, when the airdrop is activated, you'll have a new airdrop tab. Um, and then ultimately when governance launches with the ability to stake L1, uh, there'll also be another navigation option in the header uh, to get to that. Awesome. Um, Lily asks, is there any way to sort of like search for a specific creator at this point on the hub or is it just about discovery? Like, is there is there any way for someone to easily like be able to find a list of creators on the site? Uh, not, not, not yet. Um, we certainly have a roadmap that we're kind of bedding down around discovery to really start surfacing up the breadth and depth of content that's available and mm -hmm. features like search, um, either searching by creator name or uh, for the actual title of the asset or even a search and tags, um, are really potentially very powerful features and, and we'll be adding that in the future. Yeah, I think it's it's an important kind of point to note that like the chain is live, right? Like we're kickstarting the L1 economy, but we're going to be continuing to develop the hub together. And I think like especially in this initial period is like, let's get ourselves onboarded. Let's set up our profiles. Let's kind of start sharing and stuff. But like we're going to be continuing to be building this together. And so I think, you know, a lot of the things that we've done before where, you know, new releases, gathering feedback, building based on your guys' needs, like that's going to continue on uh, very much so in the post mainnet period. So again, this feels like, well, we're marking mainnet and stuff. This is still like very much the beginning of our journey together. It's just, you know, instead of... Uh, Test tokens. We're um, using, you know, liquid L1. Um, I think now is kind of a good time. I mean, if you guys want to see any more stuff, just hit us up in the chat. Um, it's a relatively easy, simple interface. It should seem pretty familiar from what you guys saw in beta net, but just a little bit more polished. And obviously, um, but this revised homepage is, you know, entirely different from before, but we also have some uh, rollout calendar updates, right, in terms of like, you know, what's going to be available on May 28th and how are we kind of going to be rolling out for launch, like what can people expect? So, I don't know, Gordon, Will, do you guys want to kind of go over the kind of updated timeline and roadmap that we wanted to share with folks or any other key updates? Yeah, sure. I'll take that. Uh, yeah, so, so we're targeting the 28th to roll this out to everyone. So available on www.lamina1.com. Um, as we mentioned, we're reducing the cost of item creation uh, so that um, anyone that has L1 um, uh, will be able to create those items on the network. Uh, the airdrop itself, uh, we've been very, very diligent about everything that we're doing in terms of the infrastructure around the airdrop. Um, uh, bot and, um, and and the treasury, etc. Um, and we're being very, very precautious around ensuring the security of everything in, in that system, including um, uh, performing audits on the code at different layers of the stack. Um, what that means right now is that the airdrop is going to shift out by one week to the week of the June the 5th, um, while we uh, really bed down uh, that system and make sure we're very, very confident. Uh, you know, that, that system is holding 32 and a half million tokens. Um, we are being extremely um, uh, precautious around ensuring that the, um, every component of that system is, is buttoned up um, so that um, nothing nefarious is going to happen. Uh, so, um, uh, so, yeah, sorry about the, the delay, but really it's to protect, uh, protect you and protect us and, and make sure everything works smoothly when we do launch the airdrop. Um, and I think the other thing is that anyone that comes this week, and actually for the first 100,000 account holders, uh, we're going to have a very special surprise for you when you uh, onboard into the hub for the first time. I'm not going to say yes. more than that, but... Yeah, someone was definitely asking um, in AMA questions earlier today, being like, you know, if... The airdrop isn't going to be unlocking for a little while, and if the airdrop is delayed, like how are we going to get our initial batch of L1 tokens? And I guess you guys will just have to find out on the 28th when you log on and create your account. And make sure uh, that you're one of the first 100,000 people who signs in <laughs> and creates one. Um, 
<laughs> so yeah, that's our, that's our kind of wink, wink, nudge, nudge. <laughs> um, I'm actually going to paste kind of like our updated mainnet rollout calendar here in the chat, just so that everyone can take a look and I'll kind of verbalize and go over it. Um, I'm obviously going to be posting this for the rest of the community um, in announcements a little bit after this AMA, but just kind of as like a run through on like what we're up to. Um, as we said, uh, public onboarding to Lamina One mainnet kicks off. So the idea is, you know, go on, set up your account, um, uh, claim your surprise, um, and, you know, content creation will be uh, very low cost. It'll just be the cost of gas. What we really want in this first week is just to get as many people to onboard as possible, start establishing your open metaverse identity. Um, in that time, um, obviously, um, if you're, you've been checking announcements of the Hub Mania channel, we also are going to be doing, uh, between the 28th and the 29th, we're going to be celebrating via the Lamina One Decentralized Launch Party, where basically, you know, any community members who celebrate everything from, you know, having a drink for Lamina One while you're setting up an account to meeting up in a metaverse space or, um, you know, having like an asset creation a thon or a light or attending maybe our live stream at our consensus 2024 activation. Um, basically, there's kind of going to be a community wide party celebration. Um, and then May 29th through 30. First, actually, the entire Lamina One core team is going to be on the ground um, doing a number of live launch activations at Consensus 2024. So we're actually sponsors of this year's um, Gaming and Immersive Summit. Um, we've got demo booths on the floor. Um, we are going to be handing out Lamina One t-shirts with really sick NFC tag activations and really just kind of like spreading the word and... Um, really kind of inviting folks from the, you know, hardcore crypto community to really join us and see what we're about. So we're going to be super busy. I'm going to be on the floor like crazy, uh, trying to tap you guys in on all the stuff that we're doing. And of course, Neil is also uh, speaking and is going to be giving a talk on just, you know, all of the sort of things that he predicted from AI to cryptocurrency to the metaverse and where he kind of sees things headed since. So um, again, I'll be kind of on the ground in reportage mode, making sure that you guys all feel a part of it. And then finally, week of June 5th is when that new airdrop tab will drop on Lamina One Hub. That's when folks will be able to sign in with their new accounts, um, claim their airdrop tokens, um, and um, that's gonna run until June 21st. So we extended the deadline because of the later launch date. Um, and that's basically when you're gonna be able to claim your tokens. You're gonna wanna get in essentially within the first two weeks after that tab drops to make sure that you can claim your rewards. And um, you know, after that claim window ends, then we'll all have a feel for um, what the Hub Mania bonus rewards pool will be for everyone who's been questing, um, kind of amplifying the launch. So, you know, as we kind of said um, a couple of weeks back when we had the foundation on, um, we're planning to use a bunch of the unclaimed tokens to um, kind of infuse back into the community, similar to, you know, what we did in Betanet with a sort of redemption rewards round for people who stick around. Um, we do have some kind of TBD dates um, that we don't have exact dates yet for that you guys might notice are not on this list. One is when Hub Mania rewards drops begin. Um, working with Peter and the foundation to figure out that plan, but it's going to be, you know, uh, a mix of plan drops and random drops. And uh, again, we'll keep you posted when we have a follow up conversation with the Open Metaverse Foundation um, a little bit later on. And then also you guys may have noticed in that walkthrough that the governance tab is not up. So in terms of uh, staking and voting launching on Lamina One, that governance tab and the ability to sort of start using your tokens, um, that will not be live for public onboarding. I don't know if there's anything else that we want to say about that, but um, as Gordon kind of mentioned uh, earlier in the call, we're actually in the middle of wargaming a bunch of stuff with the governance model. Um, so yeah, anything else that you wanted to fill the community in on guys? I saw a few, a few other questions in the chat about publishing. Yeah. I've already addressed those, um, the questions around what media types are we going to be, et cetera, and 
for when when we're going to support 3D assets, for example, for the metaverse. Uh, the answer mm -hmm. is yes, 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 and yes. Um, the specific dates and timing around specific media types are uh, not not something we can share yet. But in terms of supporting music, podcasts, film, um, characters, uh, and and video and all sorts of other things, absolutely, uh, we want this to be a very rich experience for people to create any type of content in any media format. And we think more about the what you're actually publishing versus the file type itself. So. You know, if I'm publishing an MP3, is that a music track? Is it an album? Is it a podcast? Is it a uh, SMR voice recording? Like, you know, what are these things actually in in their essence? Uh, so, expect to see more of that coming in the future. And 3D certainly is a, a area of interest, and obviously being part of the metaverse, and so the, that will include 3D asset um, creation as well. Um, exactly what that looks like is is uh, you'll have to wait and see. Um, and then in terms of uh, um, another batch functionality as well to within the studio support the ability to publish um, more of the you know multiples of the same item uh, we think that that's a really really neat feature um, and um, definitely expect to see something like that in the future uh, the other thing that you might also see in the future is uh, mint limits on a on a template as well so imagine if the artwork template was set up in such a way that only it could only be used a hundred times, um, and so you can think of that as very similar to uh, the way minting NFT drops work today in terms of having a limit. Um, and we're going to be um, uh, through a number of our content partner activations um, uh, doing similar things in terms of um, enabling a limited number of people to mint from a template. Um, so yeah, m much more to come. And obviously, as we start creating lots of different types of content, um, being able to kind of navigate that is really important. Being able to present it in the browser and render it for the user is also uh, seemingly maybe easy to add. Um, we also think about how people might experience that content as well. And or, for example, if it's video or audio, uh, the playback works, right? And it, and it plays back smoothly, et cetera. Uh, and so there's a, there's a lot that goes into thinking about every piece of content or the different content types that we want to put into the. Awesome. Um, since since the Theoniel, or I probably butchered that name, I apologize, asks, will Lamina One have a tipping system for creators? And the answer to that is yes. So actually, that's a feature that we are launching with um, on day one. So if you see a profile or a piece of content or a creator that you really like their work, you can send them L1 super easily just on top of their profile. Um, that's a really fun uh thing yeah so gordon's going to show you so yeah any any creator that has a profile you'll be able to send them a tip um for their hard work wow no name gets um one l1 token from gordon um yeah um we also are getting a couple of follow-up questions just about the airdrop itself so when the airdrop opens when that airdrop tab opens up uh the week of june 5th um are those tokens going to start unlocking then, or is that delayed? I think that's been a big, like, kind of question from community members and a, and a pretty big point of confusion that I'd like to clarify. Uh, yeah, the the, syst the the unlock dates are uh, for the L1 tokens are of the airdrop um, in terms of the decision around that, uh, and so uh, there will likely be a, a window between. That you will receive them and yet. Uh, we don't know exactly what that timing yet looks like, and that's uh, really under the control of the foundation. And so we're waiting for them to tell us um, what, what what those what those dates are looking like. And obviously, the closer we get to launch and the closer the airdrop will have, more, or certainly will be more likely that we'll know a more firm date. Um, yeah. But it's yeah. There's a there's a lot that needs to come uh, together to support unlocking um and um uh, and, and so that coordination just takes some time we have it built we're ready to turn it on whenever they allow us to but we're in as much of the dark as the rest of you all so that's the fun thing we're all decentralized we gotta um but yeah i mean so basically yeah when you first get that airdrop you're just going to claim it um those tokens will sit but again the first 
100,000 people who onboard and create accounts on the Lamina One Hub will have access to some tokens. So um, definitely sign in. There's definitely a point to kind of onboarding early and kind of tracking along with this onboarding calendar that we've uh, provided in the chat. And again, I'll uh, recap for the rest of the community a little bit later on. Um, Anyway, we have to hop off. This has to be a fairly short AMA, unfortunately, guys. Um, the team, as I'm sure you can imagine, is super busy uh, polishing final bugs. Um, I'm doing a last pass of all of our documentation. I'm curating artists. I think um, we're super excited um, to have you. Um, I'll send a kind of recap update of uh, this information later on. and. Uh, we'll also post this uh, walkthrough for the rest of the community so everyone else can get a sneak peek. But um, thank you all so, so much. Um, thanks for joining us. Uh, I know it was short notice. Can't wait for the 28th. See you guys all then. <laughs>